Hello. 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 Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Si me escuchan bien, guys. Algo cortado se le oye. Todos me escuchan cortado. Yo no como frijoles. No, solo teacher. Solo. Usted, Beatriz, dice que no. ¿Cómo? Yo sí la escucho bien. Ah, ok. Entonces, maybe the internet. Porque si alguien me escucha con alguien que me escuche bien, ya significa que mi internet is good. Ok, guys. So, how are you doing today? ¿Cómo están el día de hoy? Bien, gracias a Dios. Excellent, that's good, that's Ahí, excellent. Is it raining there where you live? No, no raining. It's not raining? No. Oh, okay. Here is, it's starting to rain. I hope it doesn't rain hard. Espero que no llueva fuerte. Guys. I hope so. Because ya saben lo que pasa cuando llueve fuerte acá. Noche libre para ustedes. It's a free night for you. Nah, it's not gonna happen. So hopefully it won't rain. Esperemos eso. Okay, give me a second. Mm. Aquí hace algo oscuro. Like, you, como que quiere llover? Sí. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Weather is weird. El, el clima este año está tan weird. Like, really weird. Crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel like this year ha like I don't know when the time passed so fast. Como que el tiempo siento que este, este año ha sido como boom. It's now is December. It's gonna be December in two months, less than two months. So yeah, that is the case. Okay, let me go with the topic. Oh, oh no no no. First, let's go with the attendance to the people that are punctual. Para la gente puntual. Let's go with your attendance. Remember, you need to have your cameras on and your microphones on. Okay? Uh, solo cuando vayan a decir I'm here, pero si no se vaya a saber cómo se. Concepción, qué gusto verla. Ah, gracias igual, teacher. <laughs> Okay, let me look for your attendance, guys. Aunque yo sí la veo siempre. Y exactly, eso estaba pensando yo. <laughs> Pero mutuamente, bien, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go with the attendance for today. Um, and let's start here. Okay, Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Concepción de Los Ángeles Quintanilla. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. Karen Estela Nieto Rodríguez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. Ok, ya vi su mensaje. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Mario Sergio Sánchez Sánchez. I'm here. Um, Mari, Marisela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here. Nelson René Guevara Castro. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Sinchilla. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. Sara Ivette González García. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. Ay, perdón, 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 perdón. Sí, ya dije Sara, Sara, ya la dije. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz, Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomasa Ivette Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. 
Jose Mario Cruz Ramírez. Zulma Lorena López Rodríguez. Okay, I have a few people today. Oh my goodness. It's sure, no vine a tiempo. Ya, ya me di cuenta. I saw you, Magdaleno. <laughs> oh my God. So Solo 30 segundos antes y le aseguro que llega a tiempo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but the thing is this, guys. Remember yesterday we were talking about should and shouldn't? So you should be punctual to the class was one of the things you told me. You should be punctual to the class or you should be on time to the class. And now what happened? Oh my God. Pero no es para ustedes porque los que están aquí están punctual. Los que no están es el problema. Anyways, let's start with the class because today I have a, a review of should and shouldn't. And then after the review we have of should and shouldn't, we have a email vocabulary. So we're gonna learn how to say the emails in, in English and how to write appropriately an email in English, okay? Okay. 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 So your faces are like, a saber okay. que está hablando la dicha, mandarín, no me escribí, mandarín me escribí? No, I'm speaking in English. So we're gonna learn email vocabulary and also how to write an appropriate or a formal email in English, okay? So let's start. Let me share my screen with you guys. And this is the one. Okay, can you help me reading the topic, please? Carla. Video conference number 13. 13. 13 steps to write a formal email. Thank you very much, Carla. Mario, help me out with the date, please. Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. 19th, yes. Excellent, thank you very much, Mario. Guys, remember always when we say the date that the H is like at the end of the number. Okay, very good, let's start. Like you see the topic is steps to write a formal, formal email. So we need to learn how to do that. But first we're gonna do a review about yesterday's class. Should and shouldn't. So you're gonna help me here, okay? You are going to help me here. The first one says, so you have here the verbs. Remember that the verb needs to go in the base form. So we have here the verbs. So we have two times eat and twice drink, okay? So we're gonna write should and shouldn't según corresponde, okay? So according to the one. So it says healthy habits. Can you please read the instructions, Magdalena? Okay, um, uh, fill in the blank using should or shouldn't and one verb from the word, from the word bank. Thank you very much, Magdaleno. So we need to use should or shouldn't and then we need to use one of these verbs. So for example, we have the first one, you, some exercise every day. Should or shouldn't? Should. Should. And what it will be? Uh, go. You should go some exercise every day? You should go? Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Do some exercise. You should do some exercise every day, okay? Lo hacen, espero que lo hagan, guys. It's important. Más si tiene un trabajo sedentario. Okay, next one says, you to bed late. You to bed late. Shouldn't or should? Or should or shouldn't? Should. 
Shouldn't. 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 Okay. Shouldn't. So you shouldn't. What? Go. You shouldn't go. Excellent, Mario. You shouldn't go to bed late. You shouldn't go to bed late. Let's go with the other one. You five fruits and vegetables every day. You five fruits and vegetables every day. Should or shouldn't? Should. Should? Should. Okay. Should what? Eat. 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 Okay. Eat. You should eat five fruits. Fruits. Listen to this word. Vegetables. 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 Every day. You should eat some fruits and vegetables, five fruits and vegetables every day. Children. Okay. Children. So do you Children. understand the activity now? Children. Yeah? Yes, teacher. So you're going to work yes, in these teacher. other ones. I already helped you with this one, this one, and this one. Now is your turn. Take a screenshot, please. Whoa. Did you take a screenshot already? Yes, that's yes. ready. Excellent, yes. very good. Yes. Cuando les digo already, significa como ya, como already. Okay, let me see. Mm. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's go and work. Daisy, you didn't get the invite. Oh, acaba de venir. Ok, Daisy, mira, yes. estamos haciendo esta actividad. Aquí estamos poniendo should or shouldn't, ok, según corresponda de estos hábitos, habits, ok. And you're going to write one of these verbs. For example, smoke, brush, visit. So, for example, here we have you should, and then we have do from the bank, some exercise every day. Yes? Ok. Ok, I'm going to send you to a breakout room now. Let okay. me see. Let's go with. Yeah, let's go to the three. I, there you go. Thank you. Mm Katia, welcome to the class. Hola. Hello. So your classmates are working in this activity on the breakout rooms. So what you have to do is write should or shouldn't and one of these verbs here. For example, this one you should, it should. And then we have do some exercise every day. That's what your classmates are doing, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to a breakout room. Let me see. I'm gonna send you to, yes, to the number two. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm.
meal. Your. Entonces la, la, la siguiente sería también should. Porque use your hands before every meal. Meal. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra, Magdaleno? Ahí está la teacher. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia meal? Meal. <laughs> Okay. Mil. No es mil, no es mil, es mil. 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 Sería shoot, ¿verdad? Shoot. Es shoot. Es shoot. Mil. Es mil. Ok, la siguiente Watch, es... ¿verdad? Your hand before every meal. Mil. Your hand. Ok, ¿qué hacemos con nuestras hands? Sería, you, should, you, should, should, wash. You should, wash. ¿Qué más? Wash. Ay, te fui un Before every meal, 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 meal. Ajá, y Concepción, y Beatriz, en Sonia. Yo estoy hey, haciendo hey. la 8, Tich. Ah, pero es en grupo, ¿no? No, pero vamos a hacer la 8, my goodness. No, es, que, es, es que ellos ya solucionaron la, la, la 7, entonces yo ya, ah, ya voy a estar en la 8. Ah. Hello, Tomás, what happened? Hello, teacher. Me sacó el teacher. And you were with Luz, Iris, and Mario? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ana Gladys, welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Lo que pasa es que ando fuera de San Miguel y está Ay. lloviendo. No sé si se escucha la lluvia. Como aquí está lloviendo también, no escucho. Entonces, ah, entonces no me puedo ir y estoy en la casa de una tía. Entonces, ah, ¿Se ha conectado no por minuto? Sí. Ah, ok. Vaya, la voy a mandar. Voy a quedarme como, como oyente, me voy a quedar para menos para que me cuente el tiempo, teacher. Ok, vaya, pero le voy a mandar un grupo solo para que esté oyente de lo que estoy haciendo. Ah, oír. ok, ok. Ok. Solo que les escribe el chat en el grupo, les escribe el chat del grupo lo que está pasando para que ellos comprendan, ok. Ah, ok. Porque una de ustedes
Nelson. Welcome to the class. Hours. Eh, espérame, espérame. Hours every day. You should wear, wear your coat in winter. Uh, that word is wear, no wear, it's wear. Okay. Wear, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. You should visit the dentist once a year. After every meal. Oh, meal. No, sé cómo meal. Se meal. Meal. Gracias. Eh, you, you wash. No, you should wash your hands before every meal. You should sleep every eight hours every day. You should wear your coat in winter. You y should. las que están en blanco son porque no las han hecho o cómo? No, ya no, las hicimos, pero ahorita no. las estamos repitiendo nada más. Es que oh. no allá vamos como a hacerlas ahí porque tapan mucho. Oh, ok. El texto okay. de abajo. So, ya la tiene, pero ya las tienen. You have them. Pero ya ¿Sí? las tienen. Ok, sí. excelente. Primero para ver la pronunciación. Ok. You should do songs exercise every day. You shouldn't go to bed late. You should eat five fruits and vegetables every day. Hello, Maricela, what happened? Hello, teacher, se me acabó el inter, hasta ahorita me acabo de volver a conectar. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Ok, but your classmates are coming now. Okay. Hazel no le he contestado, ¿verdad? Es que a mí se me olvida contestar. Me pone una alarma, oh my goodness. Pero no tengo viaje a San Salvador hasta el 30, fíjense. ¿Y por dónde queda ese lugar donde usted trabaja? Ahí estoy por el hospital diagnóstico. ¿Está cerca del por... corporativo eso? Sí, ¿Sí ahí por el redondel más ferret. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Porque yo voy para corporativo el 30, creo, creo. Porque me han quedado a confirmar. Ah, pero esas que le mandé, de esas sí este, tengo que pedirlas porque no las tengo ahí. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, le voy a escribir entonces. Vaya, así sí, le explico acuerdo. mejor. <ríe> Because sometimes I forget, Mañana. guys. Yes, yes. Ok, guys. So, let's see. Eso de energy drinks no deberían tomarlo. You shouldn't drink energy drinks. Right? That's something you shouldn't do because they are not good for you. And you should be on oh. time. Thank classes. you. You should be on time to classes, right? That's another one. Ahora que ya están los demás. 
Okay, let's go with this one. It was shoot or shoot and tell me it is. Shouldn't. Shouldn't what? Drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Así se escribe shouldn't. Me acabo de tener un lapso mental, guys. Okay. Shouldn't drink. Let's go with the other one, Judy. Judy. No, okay. Mario. Oh, Judy. Justo me sacó cuando me preguntó. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, so you should shouldn't, shouldn't eat. Shouldn't eat. Okay. Shouldn't should should shouldn't eat. Sí. Okay, now you Mario. Next one. Should brush. Should brush. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Concepción. Should wash. Okay. Even more now with COVID, guys, you should wash your hands. Okay. Now let's see. Jose Arnoldo. Should sleep. Should sleep. Pero este bien difícil de cumplirlo, you guys. Should sleep eight hours every day. Let's go with next one, Stephanie. Um, sería la novena, ¿verdad? Sería I think. you should, should uh -huh. um, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Dígala. Where? Where. 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 Yes, yes. excelente. Rina. Rina. Hola, teacher. Um, uh -huh. Fíjese que no las copié porque no estoy en casa. Oh, estoy okay. en camino y no tengo. <ríe> sí. Ok, ok. Pero Thank solo you. estoy escuchando. Ay. Ok. Thank you for letting me know. Sara. Mm, you should visit the, de the dentist once a year. Thank you very much. Um, Katia. You shouldn't watch video games all day. You shouldn't play. play. Watch or play? Oh, play. Yeah, play, play. You shouldn't okay. play. Okay, very good. Um, Rafael. Rafael. You hear it, teacher? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't smoke. Shouldn't smoke. Remember this smoke. 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 Okay. Smoke. Shouldn't smoke. Shouldn't Let's smoke. go with the next one. Sonia. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. Really? Perdón. Sería de no deberías tomar mucha agua o deberías tomar mucha agua? What do you think it is? You should or shouldn't? Sure. Sure. Ajá, uh -huh. you should. Drink. Should drink. drink. Okay. Lots of water. Okay, you should drink a lot of water, yes, but not this much. Like you're drinking from the fountain. No, that is incorrect. 
Okay, let's go, Daisy. Daisy. You should, shouldn't, shouldn't watch. You shouldn't watch too much TV. Yes, that is correct. If you have it like that, guys, is correct. Very good. So remember, the pronunciation is should. And the negative is shouldn't, shouldn't, okay? Don't say should or shouldn't, it's should or shouldn't. Wow, Luz. Hi, look at your new look. Oh my goodness. Era, era necesario, teacher. Ya, ah. ya darse una manita de gato. Yeah, very good. Miren el cambio de, 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 de look. Excellent. Good job. Valía la pena llegar un poquito, un poquito así en el carro a la clase, ¿verdad? Para pasar, pasarse la manita. No, que, fue antes? que eso fue temprano. El problema fue de que... Eh, yo vengo en unos microbuses privados de mi colonia y oh. últimamente con, están haciendo un trabajo aquí en, la, en el desvío de Opico están haciendo una carretera nueva, entonces hay un tráfico oh, yeah. espantoso, entonces los contado. microbuses no llegan a rápido, entonces la cola para el microbús es enorme Ah, pero enorme. no va manejando usted No, no, no Ah, o ok, sea, that's good, eso puede escuchar bien la clase Ajá, algunas veces sí. Ayer sí, porque ayer sí venía yo en moto, entonces ayer no podía. Ah, ok. Solo okay. la venía escuchando, pero... Pero buen ahí. look. Excellent look. Gracias, yes. gracias. Very good. <laughs> ok, guys, let's continue here with the class. I'm going to show you now the next presentation. And now, yes, we're going to switch to the topic of emails. But I have a question for you. The topic of shouldn't, shouldn't, is it clear for you? For me, it's clear. Ok. Yes, teacher. Yes, all yes, here? Teacher. Yes. No questions? Ay, Stephanie, no me ha fijado que también anda con un nuevo look. Oh, my goodness. Están andando bien peinaditas ahora. Oh, my God. Ya me sentí. Uy, ya me voy a ir a dar una manita de gato yo al rato. Ya, 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 ya tocaba. Yes, así Lucy y, y Stephanie se pusieron de acuerdo. Very good. Good job, guys. Ok. Listen to this. Do you send, do you, remember that do and you, you pronounce them together every time in a question. It's like, do you, do you, do you send emails, no emails, because that is in Spanish, emails. This is emails, emails. Repeat in your houses, emails, emails. emails. No les veo repitiendo, yo aquí puedo emails. verles. Everybody, I can see you. Emails. Emails, okay. Emails. Okay, emails. should emails. emails be brief? Should emails be brief? Let me tell you what it is. Oh my God. Okay, should either emails be brief or long? So should emails be brief or long? Can you mention three type, two tips? Three tips, I mean, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Again, do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? So let's see. Maricela, ask me the first question. Pregúnteme a mí la first question. Ask me the first question, Maricela. Uh, es que se me puso en pantalla negra, teacher. Maricela. Se me puso en pantalla negra, teacher. No, please, no see you. La... Ah, ok, 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 ok. Thank you. Um, ba, 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 ba. Rafael. Ask me the first question. Do you send emails every day? No, I don't. Maybe once or twice a week. Okay. Um, it is the next question. It is the next question. 
sure emails be free be free brief sure emails be brief or long okay repita la palabra this this word can you repeat this word emails 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 okay be brief or long i think emails should be brief they should be brief because people don't want to read a lot okay following question please hasten read the next question the final question Hello. Jason. No le entendía, no le escuchaban. Oh, Sorry. read the, the last question. Okay. Should you email break or no. long? This one, this one, the last one. Can you, can you, mm -hmm. can you manage Three tips to write effective email. Okay, they should be polite, they should be short, and they should polite, short. Oh, and they should have good spelling. Spelling is como ortografía. So spelling should have the good spelling. Mm -hmm. So sorry, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. In English, all the time I have to say they when I, I am speaking about things. Yeah, they is for things, is for women, for women and is for men. Oh, okay. They is el plural thank de todo. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can say, I think emails should be brief or I can say, I think they should be brief. Porque yes, they es, lo utilizamos cuando ya sobreentendemos de qué es el objeto que estamos hablando. Entonces, como ya mencioné emails, puedo decir they. Pero si yo no supiera de qué, no voy a decir they porque la gente se va a quedar como what? ¿De qué estás hablando? Ajá, es que en español no decimos ellos, no le decimos ellos a las cosas. No. Sino que solo se los decimos a las personas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, teacher. That's in Spanish. Spanish is another language. <laughs> okay. So, you saw how I answered these questions. The first one I said, yeah, no, I don't. I usually send them once or twice a week. The next question, I think emails or I think they should be brief. And the last one I said, um, they should be brief, they should be polite, and they should have good spelling. That is for me. Now you go to the breakout rooms and discuss these questions. Do you understand the activity? Only yeah. one question. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Um, we have to write uh, no you don't have to write anything just speak with your classmates thank you just this is a speaking activity no quiero que estén siempre que ahorita las estamos contestando no like me just tell them like that it's something that you need to do it's speaking activity speaking activity okay let me see ba, ba, ba. i don't like this room don't 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 like this room no 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 uh, yes, this is okay. This is okay. This is not okay. That's better. Okay, let's go. Speaking activity. What happened, Katia?
Como tener ya listos, predeterminados, no sé. Teacher nos ayuda. <laughs> Can you help us? Ajá, uh -huh. what do you want to say? ¿Cómo se diría tenerlo ya listo? O, 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 oh, have them o, ready. Have them listos. Have them ready. Teacher puede probar ese micrófono, Ok, or you can set default emails. Así podríamos decirlo también. Como quiere decir emails de predeterminados. Ah, de, de, uy, iba a decir una mala palabra. ¿De qué? <risa> default. <risa> sí. Pero es bien se la saben, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> ah, ya sé. <risa> default. Default. <risa> Default. Oh, pues esa podría ser uno. Y el otro. No sé. ¿Alguien ok, que no pregunte, usted, pregunte usted a alguien más. Porque si no, no vamos a terminar. Vaya, a Marisela. Eh, do you send emails every day? No, I do. I send um, two, three, or three. She needs to write effectively emails. I... I dice contestar los... Los consejos. Uh -huh. Mencionar tres consejos. I... Uh, to be clear, and to um, on on the table, on the table, and number two. Que sabor. Uh, entendible oh, under okay. sable, sable. Uh, under sable and, and to this to only only on the two tip effective ml mm -hmm. yeah, effective uh, okay mm -hmm. Eh, do you um, pregúntele a alguien más? Question. Okay. Um, um, question. Uh, ¿Quién está más? Rina. Pregúntamelo a mí. Ah, usted, Stephanie. Ok. Eh, Stephanie, uh, ¿Sí? do you send email every day? No, I don't send emails every day. Okay, and should email be brief or long? No, thanks. Very good, Mari. <laughs> Do you send emails every day, Luz? No, I never send an email. Should emails be very brief or long? I should be no oh, okay. Should be a uh, be should be brief. Can you mention three tips to write effect, effective e emails? Uh, should be polite. Uh, should be have clear information, and uh, should be well written. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, and Yubi, I ask you. Okay. Yubi. Perdón, no escuché Luz. I ask you these questions. Hola. 
Te voy a preguntar estas esta, esta, esta preguntas. ¿no? Okay. Te voy a preguntar estas preguntas. No, hombre. Eh, do you send emails every day, Judy? No, I don't. I...
Va a estar bien bueno el chambrecito. So how was it? That one the chambrecito in los break rooms. You didn't want to come. Huh. Okay, let's go. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Concepción de Los Ángeles Quintanilla. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Karen Estela Nieto Rodríguez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Um, Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here. Mario Sergio Sánchez Sánchez. I'm here. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here. Nelson René Guevara Castro. I'm here. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. I'm here. Uh, you're going to stay with me today. Okay, Rafael. Okay. Rina, Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivet Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Coyar de Hernández. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. I'm here. José Mario Cruz Ramírez. En Zulma Lorena López Rodríguez. Ok. Good. Ok, guys. <laughs> Ahí está que cerca está cayendo una thunderstorm. I hope it doesn't affect the class. Ok, anyways. Let's go here now. We're going to go with the emails vocabulary. The first thing we're going to see is email vocabulary. Look at this. So this is how you write or how you mention the things in an email. For example, this is called, so this is at, at, okay, at. This is underscore, underscore, it's el guión bajo, underscore, that, that, this is like, a, this is like this one, but arribita hyphen 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 yes, this is like in spanish asterisk asterisk and this one have you seen in the social networks like in on twitter or on instagram they say hashtag hashtag so you can say hash or you can say hashtag okay hashtag and this is forward slash, this one, and backslash. Forward slash, backslash, forward, back. Okay, uppercase. This is uppercase. When you write letters like this, is this uppercase. And this is lowercase, lowercase, lowercase. So for example, here it says, this email reads, so, se le diría así, miren ese email. Cork underscore underscore city hashtag at gmail dot com. Yes? So, I want you to write your emails and like see how you can mention them in English. Okay? With this information. No creo que no esté aquí como se diría algo de su email. But if it is not there, me pregunta. Los numbers, numbers, like normal, normal numbers.
tell me when you're ready. No me escriban su email aquí, guys. <ríe> Porque eso ustedes tienen que saber cómo escribirlo, ¿ok? Así con esta información. Mm. So if you want to say like all the letters in your email, start with like all the letters are lowercase. So you can start saying your email like all in lowercase. Like todo en letra minúscula. Al inicio, antes de decir su email, you can say like this. All in lower case. So people understand that everything in your email is going to be like this. All in lower case in your email address. Okay. Ready. Okay, excellent. Sorry, 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 guys. Okay, let's see. Dar. Oh, you want to write that? It's that. The pronunciation is that. But mire como está escrito. You see the writing? Yes, Maricela, but all in lowercase, like all in lowercase. Okay, let's see. Let, we're going to practice a little bit. Okay. We're going to practice. I need to send to you? No. Well, the first thing you can do, Luz, is tell me your email, and I'm going to write it here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all in lowercase. Mm -hmm. Bustillo. Bustillo. Mm -hmm. Double L? Yes. Okay. Luz? Mm -hmm. Number seven? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Ah. Like that. Uh -huh. uh, at Gmail? That uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's go with. Pa, 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 pa. Mario. Mario. <laughs> yeah, you. Mario Sanchez. Mario Sanchez. Okay. With Z, right? Z. Z. Yeah. Uh -huh. S B eight seven. S B eighty seven. SV. Oh, as V. V. As V, uh huh. 87. At 80, 80, 87. 87, like this? Yes. Okay. At gmail.com. Okay, very good. Okay. Let's see now. Mm, Judy, can you tell me your email? Okay. Judy? Like this? Zero. One. That letter one. Uh, D H. D. Again, D. Another D. Yes. Okay. D. Wait, 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 wait. Muchas. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Z. Z. Okay. At. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Email. 
gmail.com. Okay, excellent. So right now I'm going to send you to do a little practice. Um, compartan pantalla y escriben así en la pantalla. El email. So we're going to practice saying our emails. Okay? Yes? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, oh my goodness. Sometime, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is good. This is good. And this is not good. Like that. Let's go.
ponerle el punto, con, le va a colocar el dot. At, ajá. A dot. At desarrollo. Dot. Yeah, dot. Exactly. No, no, eh, at. Dot com. Dot. Ajá. Okay. The mean is easy. All in lowercase. Magdaleno Escalante. Escalante with. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, at yahoo.com. Yahoo. Se lo quiere mandar. No, ahí estamos, solo nosotras cinco. Ok, uh -huh. empecemos otra vez entonces. Uh, el mío sería All in lowercase Katia Hernández 12 at gmail.com Lo tiene. Ok. Ok, I... Okay. Um... Have a two emails, my personal and my work. My personal is Hassel Melara eight find at gmail dot com. And my work is a uh, ESB that organic at You can do it. Uh, it is. Ya están ahí, Luz. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. I can see that. Okay. That is. Yeah, all right. And those four. Oh, and Sonia. Can you write in the whiteboard? Lo puede escribir usted en la pantalla como lo escribió, lo escribió Iris. Ahorita veo. Vaya. Ay, está. Le digo que sí. ¿Quién falta ahí en el correo, en el, en los mensajes? Creo que ya están todos. So, let's do it again. Sería, but all, all in lower case. GF dot Sara at gmail dot punto com dot punto com dot punto com dot com, com. <laughs> com. what like what like what <laughs> dot com okay en la mañana ajá leo el otro yo Yes. All in lower case Mexquita Daisy at gmail.com. Okay. Next.
हेलो 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 ओके गाइस सो ये आई थॉट इट वाज इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ यू वर यूजिंग स्पैंगलिश इन द ब्रेक रूम्स यू वर सेइंग दैट पुंटो कॉम यू वर सेइंग एट अरोवा यू वर सेइंग लाइक सो मेनी डिफरेंट स्टफ बट रिमेंबर एट इस रोवा that is punto so for example it will always be at gmail.com at yahoo.com or at yahoo.sb okay so that is the period and at is the other one at is super easy to use at it's more complicated in spanish i will say arroba it's easy in english at okay now let's do the next activity you're going to do with me and it's this activity it says here check which tips for writing formal emails do you follow okay which of these you think are important to you okay quiero que elijan cuál de estos son importantes para ustedes a la hora de escribir un email so who, what uh, aspects are important for, for you when you're writing an email? For example, for me, one important email, yeah, capital C utilizo al inicio de cosas. Uh, Teacher, uh, all, all capitals. What is it? All capitals. All capitals. All capitals. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yes, all capitals is informal. I don't know about you guys, but when I see all capitals, I feel like people is yelling at me. Siento como que me están gritando si escriben all capitals. No, it's not polite. You know, yo creo que me están gritando cuando escriben capitals. Are you using the subject important? No. Use. A formal salutation, yes. Be brief, yes. Regularly, why are you writing? Yes. Yeah, don't know, do not use smileys. Like emojis, don't not use emojis. Ustedes mandan emojis en los emails? Mm. Yes. No, yes, yes. do you send emojis in the email? Yes. yes. No. But to your coworkers maybe? Yes. Oh, okay. But to your for client? Example, for example, uh, the, yes. the final, um, the great, uh, para decir feliz día y un <laughs> Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. But with your clients, with the clients, I don't think it's correct. Do you think it's correct? I know. No, no. right? Mm hmm Maybe if you know the person you're sending the email to, maybe, yes. Okay, so which one of these are important to you? For me, do you think it's important like avoid? Avoid is como evitar. Avoid using the subject important? Sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes. I always say important if it is important. I don't know. <laughs> Abbreviations. It depends because I use abbreviations in emails. Pero no como va. Information. Pero, ajá, no le digo como va. 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 Está no, bueno. Está bueno. Like a... Contractions. Yeah. For your yeah. information. If, uh, oh, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. That kind of abbreviations I use too. That's why I didn't check it. Okay. So now let's go with this conversation. Do you often, remember with this word guys, it's like you don't say the letter T. It's like often. Okay. You can say often, you can say often, but it's better if you say often. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use, appropriate, this word is pronounced appropriate, 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 okay? Appropriate. 
to use abbreviate ab <laughs> abbreviations abbre abbreviations abbreviations pero si vamos a verla bien puede ser que la teacher les está dando mentiras abbreviations 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 I think it's abbreviations let's see abbreviations 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 okay let me share my screen with you is abbreviations 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 listen abbreviations 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 okay so for you to remember abbreviations abbreviations ¿Cuántas veces lo dije yo? ¿Cuántas veces lo dijo la del internet? ¿Y ustedes cómo lo van a ir a decir? Abbreviations. Abbreviations. In business, 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 emails. Email. No, 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 it is not, it is not professional. professional. Professional, professional. I see, could, remember this is could, it's not cool. Is could could you share more tips to write effective effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. You want me to repeat that word, guys? All the words are clear. Abbreviations, 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 abbreviations. Okay, so I'm gonna read it now with intonation. Okay, so I'm gonna read it with intonation. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. One more time. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share some, I mean, could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, do you have the screenshot? Do you, yes. do you, do Yes, yes, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Que shy and my students de vez en cuando. I don't know why. They are so shy. Let me see this group. Mm, mm. And oh, this is okay. This is okay too. Aha, ya se me salió alguien. This is okay. Okay, let's go.
Tomás, are you there? Me sacó antes de enviar a los breakers con el teacher. Oh, ok. Espera, la voy a mover a este, pero no se mueve ahí, que esa no es la suya. The number two, ahí sí es el suyo. Okay. That, that's yours. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tampoco le envió. Vámonos una. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email. Next. No, no it is not. No, it is not professional. Jose. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Do you often send emails? Appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, this is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Hoy que empieza René. Okay. Do you have sell Email? Often, often. Often. Yes, yes I, do. I do. Ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> is it appropriate? <laughs> okay. Is it appropriate 
to use abbreviation in business emails? Mm -hmm. it's, it's appropriate to use abbreviations in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you show more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Acabo de venir a otro grupo, no me la van a creer que justo esa misma respuesta dieron dos personas al mismo tiempo. The same thing. De Yabu. True, true. Is... Ahí viene la tía. Share. Share. ¿Cómo? Share. 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 Okay, Mario. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It, is it appropriate to use abbreviation in the business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Why are you so happy, Carla? What teacher? Why are you so happy? Uh, <laughs> I I have uh tengo sueño, teacher. <laughs> oh, you are sleepy. <laughs> yes. At what time do you finish working today? Um eh, half past. Or 
A.M. Wow, yes. A.M. Oh my goodness. Yes, because have has has a problem I with I have problem with system and and tuve que esperar a que me ayudaran de España wow. para poder cerrar. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, oh, pero usted terminó el trabajo hoy a las 4:30. Yes. And tomorrow you're going out at what time? Uh, tomorrow, uh, no. Today I work at 2 a.m. Oh, hasta and tomorrow a. is my day off. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, yes. sus horarios no son los mismos que los nuestros, ¿verdad, Carla? No, no. Bueno, ahora espero terminar a esa hora, teacher, porque es que han implementado un nuevo sistema de facturación. Entonces, para que podamos cerrar el día en sistema, tiene que estar como que todo facturado como debe de ser. Y Ajá. ayer nos dieron problemas unas notas de crédito, de unos créditos fiscales. Oh, Entonces, wow. no podíamos cerrar el sistema. Oh, wow. So, sí. Pero, hopefully, va a poder ir a dormir, right? Yes. So you're go to bed. Yes, excellent, excellent. Ya casi se acabó la clase. Almost, almost done. Mm. Okay, guys. So let's see now some extra tips for the emails. So these are some extra tips for the emails. Okay, so can you help me? Well, Carla, reading the number one. Will in the subject line with topic relevance to your recipients, recipients and not just documents or important. Relevant recipient, recipient, recipient. Okay. Recipient. Okay, thank you. Uh, Luz, number two. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in, include. Uh, include, yes, that include, is correct. Include a polite salutation, uh, e.g. dear... Example, Mr. that means e.g. Oh. E e means example. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Example, dear mister, dear missus, good morning, etc. Dear miss. Dear miss, oh, miss. Uh -huh, uh -huh. When it's missus is when you have M-R-S, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. thank you, Mario. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Sentence, okay, thank you, Iris. Don't use all capital or all lower case letters. Okay, Rina. Te va a tocar la palabra que estuvimos practicing. Uh, number five. Mm -hmm. A boy. A boy. Abbreviation. Abbreviations. Abbreviations. Abbreviation. Example. Example. P L Z. Sí. Casi no lo <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please, okay. So, can I escribamos PLZ? Sino que escribamos? Please, right? Please, okay. Rafael? Be polite, remember to write please and thank you. Okay, very good. Hazel? Be brief, be brief. Is, is your message is to long? Consider using an atta attachment. Attachment. Thank you very much. Jose? Use a closing phrase like this. Regards. Regards, regards. Regards, regards, mm -hmm. looking forward to your comments, etc. Thank you very much. Sara. 
add a signature block with appropriate 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 content <laughs> information Mm -hmm. Information. ¿Cómo es? Information. Information. Y lo que está en paréntesis también. Ya. Yeah. Journey, business, address, at phone number. Thank you very much. Now help me with the last one, please, Tomasa. Edit and Proofread, proofread, proofread. Proof, proofread. Proofread, proofread. Proofread. Uh -huh. Before you send the message, message. And it's about thing, like many people are making mistakes here. It's message, message. Okay, guys. Okay. Now we have Message. two. We have two. two, 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 two. So we have two. So this one we have. This one is a is a star, and we have this one that is a heart. Okay. So we have two emails here. With the information that you have here, tell me if this email is formal or informal, and tell me if this email is formal. Or informal. Yes? Yes. Okay. So take a screenshot because you're going to do it with your classmates. And then we're going to come back and then we're going to finish. Okay? Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, sorry. Can you explain me the, the mean of proofread? Edit and proofread. Como haga una prueba de lectura. Como reléalo. Ah, ok. En. Ay, 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 ¿dónde la marqué la otra? Ok. Attachment. Attachment. What is an attachment? Attachment is a document, a video, a PDF, or a PowerPoint, or a picture that you can send in an email. Adjuntos. Exactly. Adjuntos. Mm -hmm. O sea, si es demasiado largo el mensaje, eh, considere usar un adjunto. O sea, ah, un documento adjunto al correo. Exactly. Mm, o sea, That's si es, ya, ya, ya entendí, no tenía lógica la, la oración, mm -hmm. pero ya la entendí. Excelente. Mm -hmm. So now let's work on this. Just decide with your classmates if this is uh, formal or informal and read the emails. And that's it, that's the last activity we're gonna do today. Let me see here. Yeah, let's go.
Okay. So let's see which is the formal and which is the informal. So this one is formal or informal, guys? Informal. 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 Okay. Informal. And this one is formal or informal? Formal. 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 Yes. Formal. These abbreviations formal. we can use. For example, this is IT, is the Department of Technology. And this is informal because you see CU is not CU. Okay. Tomorrow's meeting and Saturday, the, it's very like, I don't know, it is not as specific what you're saying. Okay, let's go with the attendance, the last attendance. Cameras on and say I'm here or present when I say your name. You know that already. Okay, Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Concepción de Los Ángeles Quintanilla. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Jose Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Le alcanzo a ver la frente, the forehead. Okay. Karen Estela Nieto Rodríguez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Okay. Um, Katia Gabriel Hernández García. I'm here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. I am here. Mario Sergio Sánchez Sánchez. I'm here. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here. Nelson René Guevara Castro. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. I'm here, teacher. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Janet Martinez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Celaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Aybet Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Coyard Hernández. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mesquita Martínez. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. I'm here. Jose Mario Cruz Ramirez, Zulma Lorena Lopez Rodriguez. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow and I'm going to say with Rafael, okay? Have a good night. Bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Have an excellent bye -bye. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Have a good night. <laughs> Hello, Rafael. Hi, How are you doing today? I'm fine. Excellent. Okay, and what happened with your camera? It's really like blurry, como pixelado. Yes, it's low uh, resolution. It is my, my, my computer is not working. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. And you're connecting from your computer, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Very. No puedo comprar otra con mayor resolución ahorita. What I do, lo que yo hago es que le pongo una cámara extra de esas de 20 pesos. They, uh -huh. they work, right? They work, they work fine. They do the job. Ok. What is it? Ya ratito que lo estoy comprando. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to buy one because my, my computer's camera was not really good, so I had to buy another one. Okay, Rafael, so, ¿qué tal ha sentido la clase? Pues bien, bastante bien. Ya eh, estaba en otro grupo antes, ¿verdad? Sí. sí ¿Pero sí va agarrando el ritmo de, de este grupo o no? Sí, 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 bastante. Oh, okay. bien, sí. Lo que pasa es que al principio no, no pude conectarme porque en la semana que iniciamos mi familia estaba con COVID. Okay. Que era el único que, que no tenía. Oh, ok. You, you were the only one. ¿Usted nunca salió positivo? ¿Nunca? No, nunca. Wow. Bueno, qué bendición. Sí. Yes. <laughs> well, and, pero ahora todo bien. Everybody is ok. Todos bien. Gracias, Julio. Ok, excelente. Y con respecto a la clase, ¿alguna duda que tenga de algún tema o todos han quedado claros? Pues 
el, un poquitito con el B, porque no estuve en esa clase, el uso del B y los verbos en pasado. Ah, ok, ok. I can, I can teach you that. Wait a second. Ok, the verbs in the past, there are two types of verbs in the past. We have the regulars and the irregulars. The regulars are the ones that change only with ed. Solo se les agrega ed al final. Like this one, ok, in the past. And we have the irregulars, que son los que cambian toda su forma. They change all the form. So, these regulars are, for example, visit is in the present. Visited is in the past. Start is in the present. Started is in the past. So, para la mayoría de los verbos se va a agregar ed al final del verbo. Así como es en el presente, solo se le va a agregar ed al final. Now, los verbos que terminen en la letter E, like this, like, arrive, then, lived, Solo le vamos a agregar la letter D at the end. Okay? okay. That's all we're going to do. So we have the verb and we're going to add the letter D at the end of the verb. If the verb ends in E. Then we have the verbs ending in vowel and then Y. Si tenemos un verbo que termina en vowel y después Y, solo vamos a agregar ED. Like that. Play, played. Enjoy, enjoyed. Stay, stayed. Okay? Pero si el verbo termina en consonante y luego la Y, ahí sí se va a cambiar la letter Y, se va a convertir en I, E, D. ¿Ok? Por eso está esta regla aquí arriba. Porque si es vocal la que está antes, se, solo se agrega E, D. Pero si es consonante, then we change the letter Y and add I, E, D. ¿Ok? okay. Now, estos son los verbos que terminan en solo una sílaba. Stop. Por ejemplo, duplicamos la última letra y después agregamos ed. Es como la regla general. Uh -huh. Ok. This is with the regulars. Ok. Los irregulars cambian toda su forma. Y luego teníamos aquí, ¿verdad? La regla normal es que vamos a utilizar. Fuera second. Tenemos, por ejemplo, you uh, walk. Y walk le vamos a agregar de verdad. You walked in the park yesterday. Ok, like that. You walked in the park yesterday. Entonces, so, si se fija, la estructura sigue la regla. Mm -hmm. You is subject. Walked is the verb with ed. And in the park yesterday is the complement. Yes. But now, si yo quiero hacerlo pregunta, que era lo que usted me decía del uso del did, si quiero hacer la pregunta, voy a agregar, ¿se acuerda cómo aperturábamos las normas del presente simple? De do you, does she. Uh -huh. okay. En este caso el do, que es el auxiliar para hacer preguntas, se va a cambiar por el auxiliar did. Did. Ok. Uh -huh. Y aquí vamos a poner el verbo, el, el, el verbo así en su forma base, porque ya el did lleva el pasado. Entonces ya mi verbo no cambia su estructura. Lo dejamos en su forma base. Escribimos, did you walk? Y luego el mismo complemento. In the park. Sorry. In the park yesterday. Like this. Ok. Uh -huh. Para responder. ¿Se acuerda cómo se responde en afirmativo en el presente? Se responde yes, I. I do. Pero como en el pasado estamos hablando con otro auxiliar, sería yes, I. I exactly. Do. Así de fácil. Y luego tenemos la negación que sería no. I didn't. Didn't. Correct. Así de easy. As easy as okay. that. So cuando ya tenemos el did, en este caso, denme un segundito, denme un segundito. Sorry about that. Okay, so when we have the did, ya no necesitamos el verb in the past, porque en este caso ya el did absorbe ese pasado y el verbo se va a colocar en su forma base. Okay. okay. 
exacto, un poco claro este tema. Ah, y las pronunciaciones, no sé si estuvo en la, cuando expliqué pronunciations. Sí. ¿Sí estuvo? Sí, sí, eso. No lo recuerdo. Sí, pero parece que vi el video que había que... Cuando termina el C, por la vibración, no recuerdo. Ajá, la vibración, correcto. Si terminan estos dos, la LED se va a pronunciar tal cual. Wanted, needed. Mm. Si terminan cualquiera de estas letras que no tienen un sonido, al final una vibración, se va a pronunciar como que fuera una T. Por ejemplo, help es en presente. En pasado sería helped. 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 Help. Y esto ya no sería call, sería, sería cold. Cold. Oh. With tea at the end. Uh -huh. oh. Entonces se hace esa vibración porque no van a decir help it, call it, look it, clean it. No, ¿verdad? Esto está incorrect. Ok. ¿Está claro el tema ahí? Sí. sí, sí. ¿Algo más en lo que le pueda ayudar? Eh, creo que para los verbos irregular hay solo una ¿Sí? lista solo una lista porque sí creo que les di una vez espérame se la voy a buscar porque esa no hay una regla para ese no existe pero si sí me acuerdo que yo tengo son los 50 de, de YouTube Ajá. donde había alguien que como decía que no había reglas pero asociaba como por familias algunos verbos si sí, algunos verbos sí siguen como brought, bought ajá uh -huh. fought, yes, algunos sí se siguen por algunas, algunas reglas pero okay. si no lo, eh, aprenderse la lista, ahí está le, le mandé el link, no sé si lo puede ver okay. Esos son los 50 más comunes para que los use y vea cuál es el pasado. La otra línea que está a la par se llama participio. El participio lo van a ver más adelante, pero si se lo puede aprender desde ya, está bien. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, you're welcome. You. So, bueno, have a good night and I will see you tomorrow, right? Eh, eh, lo voy a ver mañana. Yes. Ok. Ok. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.